Well, Grant Hunter, you're Chief Executive Officer of Cruise and Maritime Voyage. I prefer the sort of French rather than the voyages, but that's okay. And you operate the Aster every year for a season here down under, okay? Uh, with some passengers coming from the UK, but you were telling me before the majority of your passengers being Australian. But tell me a bit about this ship and why she's so popular with Australian guests. Well, I think it's the size and the intimacy of the, the ship. The ship is only 620 passengers um, maximum capacity mm. um, and she's now operated uh, eight cruises this wow. year um, with a, um, uh, an on-board um, uh, success rate of, of, of just on 92% uh, good, that's um, good. occupancy rate, which is, which is excellent. Mm. The, it's the, uh, the way the ship's been looked after, preserved by the owners mm. and she just seems to have um, really adapted herself to the Australian market. The Australian market is uh, and has been over a period now of um, 15, 18 years moving towards um, more small ship cruising. Mm. It's um, the market has uh, a lot of people have cruised on bigger ships. They've been in the 2,000, 3,000 capacity ships and found that the the smaller ship is a more intimate. They're known by name. The um, the, the crew can. Um, interact and converse with them. The, um, they get to, to know other people on the mm. ship. You know, they're a name, not a number. Yeah. And so a ship of this size is really fitting the market. Okay. Now, she's an older vessel, or slightly older vessel, some of these more glitzy ones, if you like. And I agree with you, I love smaller ships. But what um, sort of facilities can people expect to uh, enjoy on board this vessel? Well, the ship doesn't have wall, uh, wall climbing rooms. Yep. It doesn't have um, acrobatic and for your core markets, you don't want those, do you? Well, the, the, in a lot of cases, the market doesn't. Yeah. Um, the market doesn't want a lot of people who are running around and interfering with mm. their enjoyment on a cruise. Mm. No, the, 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 this, this ship has um, what you would call the traditional, mm. more um, lifestyle type of um, uh, public facilities. Mm. It has um, five wonderful bars. It has a, a, a two pools, an mm. indoor pool and an outside pool. Um, it has um, a very, very popular spa, mm. um, which we can, um, uh, it ha has it been extremely welcomed mm. by people who are using spa treatments themselves in their mm -hmm. daily lifestyle. Um, it has a marvellous sports deck, and as the ship is based out of um, Fremantle mm. in Western Australia, it is the first ship, home porting ship, to have that type of facility. Mm. There's volleyball, basketball, half court tennis, um, uh, there's uh, darts, etc. Mm. It has a, uh, a one mile walking track. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, so there's a lot of things mm. for people to do. It has a lovely fitness center overlooking the water. Um, it, it is it's, it's wonderful there mm. in the morning. So the, the ship itself as a, as a public facilities has what's required by yeah. um, certainly the market from, from Western Australia. As far as accommodation is concerned, it has majority, well and truly majority, even 85% are outside cabins. Mm -hmm. There's a selection of twin share and um, convertible double bed cabins. Yep. There's a, a good selection of suites um, that uh, have floor to ceiling windows. Uh, very spacious mm. and have all proved popular. And for this is the, the ship's um, inaugural year in Australia mm. and, and the success of it has guaranteed that the ship will be here for at least mm. another three years. Now you've operated ships in this market before. Mm -hmm. Which other vessels have you operated here? Uh, going back uh, mm. a number of years now, um, in Australia I've operated Azerbaijan, mm. Belarusia, mm. Uh, Karelia, Funchal, uh, yep. Princess Danai, um, and Athena before yep. um, Asta. That's right. Now, one thing I forgot to ask, of course, on any cruise ship, food is important. Tell me a bit about the food on board. Food is excellent. Mm -hmm. food, food is a European. The, the, the basis of the, the hotel department is Austrian hotel management. Mm. And, um, and, and uh, Cruise Maritime Voyages is a, a ship management company, mm. um, one of the, the largest in Europe and it does all the catering, crew selection, um, employment, etc. of the um, of all the crew. The the food is traditional European, mm. but it's got a lovely touch of the Asian um, type of influence. Mm. Um, one of the chefs is a 
uh, a high class Indian chef. Mm -hmm. and Good, it, so it, a bit it, of variety. It, 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 good variety. Yeah. Um, and some excellent, excellent um, desserts, if I may say. Brilliant. Well, Grant, thank you very much for your time today. Thank and thank you for the invitation to come on board to enjoy uh, some of the um, very fine aspects. And this is a beautiful room here. This room is called the. This is called the Captain's Club. Okay. And uh, we look forward to enjoying um, much more of the vessel during uh, our day today. Thank you very much for coming on board. You're welcome. Thank Cheers. you.